evening. May your path always be even. If it's clam and fish you seek, then come and take a good long peek. Returns. Yes, you have heard right. The lost heir to the throne, son of glorious days. Defile the grandeur of the merciful Golden Queen herself, but also that of the Lightborn Saldron, Keeper of the Writings, the Eternal Timeless. Madame? Bread! Taste it now! You are unripe for bread and tasty bread! As I said, be no bad, sorry. Think about it, okay? Please, sit down. Oh, please. You're not from around sit here, down. are you? I know that accent. Good luck. You'll need it.
Take care. Hello. Well, that's just how he is. Always talking. As I said, the offer stands. Just think about it. Okay. Hey, Stu, roast pork. Anyone? Sorry. As I said, I know. As I, I said, say. the offer stands. Just think about it, okay? As I said, the offer stands. Yesterday, a refugee from another country, and now a prodigy with a magic great enough to impress old Bushybeard. Good luck with that. I'm quite curious to see how things keep on with you. Anyhow, tell me, what do you make of this country now that you've had some time to look around? I figure it must be quite the change from Nerim. Shoot. <laughs> yeah, I can picture that. You know, 
This is exactly the reason why I love inns so much. The sky can rain fire out there. In here, you'll always meet laughter and good humor. Not to mention all the good-looking men and women. Absolutely. Though I think I've seen enough of this place by now. Of Enderol, I mean. There's a ship sailing for Kile next morning. And as it seems, it will be the last one for quite some time to come. Who knows? Maybe they still have a cabin to spare for a handsome treasure hunter. <laughs> oh well. This entire thing was more a coincidence than planned anyhow. The Order needed someone with skill and discretion. I was around. End of story. Heck, me as an ambassador of the Holy Order, could you imagine that? Not one step further, O oh fair maiden. Drop your garment so we may both bathe in Malthus's holy light. Hmm. Actually, not that bad, don't you think? Oh, you're too kind. But you know, at the end of the day, I guess I'd probably lack both the pathos and the idealism for such a profession. <laughs> I could save 30 virgins from a myrid on Rampage. At the end of the day, they'd always say I did it for the money, because I wanted to bed the women, or whatever. I'm driven by inferior motives. While no matter what their actions end in, they are good guys, because they do things for the right reasons. If only they'd understand that it's results that matter, not intentions. What does the wise hermit say? Nothing is of less importance to the saved than the reason for their rescue. The only difference between a mercenary like me and a holy warden is that I'm at least aware of the fact that I do what I do for myself and no one else. I'm trying to say that all those heroes and self-declared messiahs are no better than everyone else. So yes, maybe the keeper saves the farmer from the bandits. But at the end of the day, he does it because he sees himself in a certain light. <laughs> you know, the funny thing is that a lot of times, it's especially those who think of themselves driven by a higher purpose who are the really dangerous ones. They don't understand what drives them, and that makes them easy to manipulate. The only thing left to do for the capable hate monger or tyrant is to somehow combine his own ambitions with the mental image of this person. At Presto, you've got your perfect puppet, only waiting to dive into the next hail of arrows for their honor, their religion, or whatever they thought of this time. It's just so... idiotic, you know? The world would be a much better place if everyone could just acknowledge that the only reason we're here is that we want to be happy. You do? And here I thought I'd get an indignant cry and a splash of wine thrown in my face. That's how most people react. <sighs> in any case, I think I'll take my leave now. I very much enjoyed our talk, but the ship to Kile leaves before the first cocks crow tomorrow, and I want some more time to think about it. Well, it most recently gained a good-looking Naramese woman. Maybe that'll make up for when I leave. Keep your chin up. That's just how it is. Everything was bad. Can I help you? <clears throat> My dame, do you have a moment? I think the two of us could... Good 
Good evening. Yes? I'm obvious, my name. Yes? Yes? Madame?
Walk blessed? <sighs> That's a good question. Let me... Th if you have the smithing skills and want to find some precious ore, you should check one of the mines there. <laughs> now look at that. A lonesome traveler. Some folks just never learn. Hello. Good to hear. Where to? Prophet's ass one second later and I would have been scraping your remains off the floor. What in blazes are you doing here anyway? <sighs> Let's put it this way. I know how to hide when I don't want to be seen. Get a little too close and wait a little too long, and you'll have your ass blown around your ears by an explosion that would put any cannon to shame. Lashiri? <laughs> Oh my, the fellow really isn't one for names, is he? I'm Lashari, but never mind that. At least it proves you're not lying. Anyhow, I hope you're not the backup I asked for. I was hoping for someone more, um, impressive. No offense. <laughs> is that so? 
Hmm. Indeed. You have some uncontrolled magic inside you. <sighs> and quite a lot of uncontrolled magic. Very well. If Constantine insists, I will perform the ritual on you. But it'll have to wait, since I'm up to my neck in this shit, as you've probably noticed. Short version or long version? Which do you prefer? We got ambushed. Why and by who, I have no idea. But I'd guess they're mercenaries. They must have found a hidden entrance, because one moment, I was upstairs and inspecting our mules. The next, I'm down in the ruin to find it flooded by these fuckers. Now, here's the thing. All my scrolls and the artifacts we've been searching for are still down there. As are my assistant and his Indrelay and colleagues. And before you ask, yes, you can help me. You'll have to, actually, if you want me to tame your magic. I wouldn't have a chance fighting the mercenaries by myself, but the two of us might be able to do it, provided you can defend yourself, which I'm quite sure you can. Oh, that's hard to explain. But part of it is finding the answer to the universal question. Why do some people have the nerve to ask irrelevant questions when shit is going down around them? After we've cleaned up the mess, we can do this whole who are you and what are you doing here thing if you want to. But this really... no idea. But I don't think there are more than a dozen. Also, they don't anticipate... Fine, then follow me. <sighs> By the pr what? Hang on, what's this? By the prophet's ass, I don't believe it. Their orders, my assistant Sev. It seems he's the reason these fuckers managed to take us by surprise. Save it for Sev when I shove this staff up his ass and fire a thunderbolt. Shit, can you smell that? That's fire. <sighs> we have to do something. You're adept at magic, right? Take this spell and use it to put out the fires. If I'm right, the mercenaries are trying to destroy the stone fragments. and We have to stop them. I'll take the upper part. And when it's all done, we'll meet here again. Oh. And one more thing. If you should find my assistant Sev down there, try to take him alive and bring him to me. I want to take care of him myself. Okay? Then let's get going.
I'll be damned. That's what I call good timing. I take it you were successful? What about the fragments? Did you save them? All of them? Call me a pregnant Lyran. You really are good at what you do. You won't regret it, I swear. What about Sev? Did you find him? Fuck. The little shit. I was hoping I could make him tell us who's behind all this. <sighs> well, whatever. What's your name, anyway? Amidst all this, we- You're pleased? Well, <laughs> that's good to hear. I actually had the feeling that I was a little rough on you. Sorry for that, really. Anyway, let's talk about the reason you're here. For starters, tell me how you managed to get the old ranter to trust you. That doesn't happen very often. I've got time. Uh-huh. So, you're saying that you learned all this? The magic, the swordplay, in such a short time? That's... fascinating, to say the least. And these visions? If I understand correctly, you foresaw the death of the two apothecary? <laughs> it does indeed. But hey, who am I to judge? And even better, now you tell me that these skills come from studying magic for only a couple of weeks, and that you can see the future. You certainly are full of s Shit. <sighs> Not you, sorry. I mean, I, I just had a strange thought. But no, that would be crazy. Way too unlikely. Well, I'd like to speak freely, but I'm bound to my agreement with the Holy Order. However, I will tell Constantine and old Aranthiel about my theory. And you, 
You will probably have to be patient until the latter decides to put you in the picture. Sorry. <laughs> then we'll be in a position to really kick ass. Anyway, hold still for a moment. Ready? All right, let's do this. Don't worry, it'll just tickle a bit. Are you alright? That wasn't on purpose. Really. Sorry. I have no idea what just happened. The ritual isn't exactly harmless, but normally you shouldn't feel more than a weak tickle at most. Maybe this has something to do with the strangeness of your aura. I already said this, but it's so different. It's hard to explain. But hey, I'm probably just out of practice. Your fever will now settle down to an endurable level, and maybe even vanish if you're careful. And now, I suggest you return to Constantine. You need anything else? If not, see you later. Well, put simply, they're supposed to protect us. But old Oranthiel will tell you more about it later. Take care.